sentinel data to work with for yourself, you first need to go to the Copernicus Data Space Ecosystem website. From there, you can go to Get Started or Explore Data. Now, once you click on either of those links, if you don't already have an account, you will need to create one or log in. So I already have my account. You can see my name is up there and I am already logged in. Now, the first step is to navigate to the geographic region that you're interested in getting data for. So I'm going to pop in here and today I'm going to look at getting some data from Lizard Island. So that's going to give it the indication of what that area of interest is. Now, over on the top bar here, I want you to go to the search button and we're going to look at the filters for Sentinel-2 data. So I want to drop the cloud cover down to about 30%. So it is quite a cloudy region, but I don't want cloud all over my area. So this might hopefully give me some data and I'm going to go to the level 2A data there as well. If there's anything else that you want, then you can tick on those options as well as part of the filters. Then the time range is important. So I'm going to change this to look for any data that's been captured so far this year. So from January through till now. Then once I've done that, I'm going to click on the search button. That's going to go through the archive and then return all of the images that meet those criteria. When it's completed its search, you'll see that there's a bounding box on the screen here and then each of these different thumbnails that represent that area and a data set that it's found. So then you can, you can go and click on any of these. I like to just click on the visualize for a, an image that I'm interested in to then check that particular area. Again, if I'm only interested in lizard, maybe even if it's 30% cloud coverage, maybe all of that cloud is all over this area, or maybe there's none there at all. So it's really important to go in and have a look at those scenes yourself. So you can scroll through. It does. It is handy getting the little thumbnails, but generally I like to open them in that visualization window just previously as well. So once you've found the scene that you're interested in, all you then need to do is to click the download button and then that will start the product downloading. While that's doing that, you can also look at the information, the metadata of that particular data set. So it's, it's always good to double check the date that the data were captured and you can pull down any of these options here to get you that more detailed information and keep that metadata for yourself. This will automatically download into your downloads folder. You will need to unzip it to then get into the data itself before you then use that in an image processing system or geographic information system.